Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Bart. Happy almost Friday. Um, we have a lot of changes when it comes to the weather, uh, especially from where we started to the week, now to where we are ending it. It's starting off in the 50s and 60s, um, especially last week we saw that record or at least near record temperatures. We had that heavy rain roll through and now we're tracking a little bit more winter weather out there. Uh, maybe you're seeing some of that tonight. A few wet snowflakes or just that bitter cold rain. Colder air is going to move in it, uh, move on uh, with it as well. But how long will that stick around? So we'll take a look at that and of course uh, talk a little bit about your weekend forecast. I have our uh, live pulled up here. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them along the way. Let's get to the radar because we're seeing some of the heavier rain push through parts of Northeast Ohio as we speak. Really had a good downpour just moved through parts of downtown Cleveland and Euclid, uh, Cleveland Heights before falling apart, but still seeing some moderate to heavy rain. And this looks like plain old cold rain. Still seeing rain showers in parts of Cuyahoga Falls and Akron, Medina. Uh, you just saw a little bit of a wintry mix. So let me know if you are uh, seeing uh, if uh, any wet snowflakes out there. Just let me know. I would appreciate the observation. Heading down to Akron, Canton, seems like some on and off light showers and some pockets of heavier rain. And then if we go back closer towards Willard and Mansfield, still seeing cold rain, but that's where we're first going to see that changeover from rain to snow. And uh, looks like we're starting to see some snow now in parts of uh, Fremont and Tiffin, so well off to our west. Hi, Joey. Thanks for hopping on. Appreciate it. We'll get to snowfall amounts in a bit. So through the rest of the night, temperature is going to fall back to that freezing mark, if not below, upper 20s. And that's when we'll start to see some of those scattered snow showers move in uh, late, late tonight. And uh, we'll continue that throughout the early part of tomorrow. Really not expecting much accumulation with the system, but you might see a nice little dusting on top of your car or some patio furniture, the bushes outside uh, by early tomorrow morning. As we head into the day tomorrow, temperatures aren't expected to get much better. We're going to climb into the upper 30s. We'll have a few isolated uh, flurries throughout the day, but cooler temperatures in the 30s throughout all day long. Here's what it looks like hour by hour. So we'll continue to see this rain and a bit of a wintry mix push through 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Once that moves out by early tomorrow morning, we'll see cloudy skies and just a few uh, random flurries throughout the region. That'll continue at least throughout the first half of the day. So probably you'll see a few snowflakes still out there by 3, 4 o'clock. And then heading into Saturday, the sunshine returns. It was so nice seeing it out there today. Really liked that. All right, talking about numbers in terms of snowfall, not really expecting much as we head into uh, really the next 24 hours. Little to no accumulation. Again, we'll have a light dusting here and there. Our snow belt region could maybe pick up an inch. I'd say two if you're lucky, but it does seem like a lot of places really aren't going to get much snow out of this. And even throughout the day tomorrow, temperatures will mainly remain uh, above freezing. So any snow that you do see is quickly going to melt off. So uh, unfortunately, uh, the days of some heavier snowfall uh, behind us, at least in the next eight days. Taking a look at that weekend forecast, temperature is going to be chilly, cold on Saturday, a little bit warmer on Sunday. We'll have some sunshine out there uh, Saturday, but uh, cloudy with a chance for a wintry mix for some of us throughout the day on Sunday. So hour by hour look, taking you into the weekend. Friday, once that system clears out, just a few flurries, we'll see quieter conditions throughout the day on Saturday, but colder. Remember, highs only in the 30s. By Sunday, we'll have this next system slide just to our south. So a few of our southern counties and communities uh, closer towards Tuscarawas County, um, probably going to see uh, a few wet um, snowflakes and some cold rain. Not really expecting too much out of the system either. And again, a lot of that will stay in central Ohio. That is throughout the first half of your Sunday. So quieter conditions for the rest of us. Let's take another look at this radar here before we get to the eight day. Appreciate you guys hopping on here. 
Here's this low right now. We had a lot of dry air uh, out ahead of it and underneath it, and that's why it kind of took a while maybe to see some rain in your region. And we're seeing a nice little plume of snow back in Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, uh, Muncie, Indiana area. That will also push through our region a little later on tonight. So kind of like a little one-two punch. Again, Mansfield is starting to see a little bit more in terms of that rain snow mix, Mount Vernon area as well. Still seeing our radar indicate that uh, just uh, near Medina and Brunswick, maybe seeing a few wet snowflakes mix in with some of that rain. We can take a look at our temperatures too. Um, that'll be a good indication of also what we're seeing and where that colder air is. And you can see um, we're still seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, the really colder air back by Toledo and Finley, but we're still seeing some of that uh, cold air filter in in parts of Lorraine, Mansfield, and Worcester, where places are probably seeing rain and maybe a wet snowflake or two. All right, let's take a look at that eight-day forecast. We will continue to see temperatures kind of um, go here and there throughout the next few days, upper 30s and 40s. So no, no dramatic cool downs. Heading into Friday, a few flurries throughout the day and cloudy temperatures in the upper 30s. Colder on Saturday, a few breaks of sunshine. Sunday, back to the 40s with uh, that system just off to our south. And then next week, we're staying quiet and clear, just how we like it, right? <laughs> 40s and 30s. So uh, warmer, I don't want to say warmer, but you know, warmer than the 30s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, cooling off some, and then chance for our next system heading into next weekend. All right, well, I appreciate you guys all hopping on here. Uh, we will be back on at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll give you another updated look at the radar, how that rain to snow change is doing, um, and then uh, another look at some updated numbers as well, and we'll look at that weekend forecast. So uh, appreciate you guys hopping on here. Uh, we will see you at 10 o'clock. If not, you can always find the latest information at fox8.com underneath the forecast discussion. All right, have a good night.